on cue. We're welcoming UCLA Bruin Director of Athletics, Martin Jarman, joining the program. Martin, thank you so much for spending the next couple of minutes with us. I imagine the media requests in the inbox are filling up substantially over the last couple of days, so no need to bury the lead. Why now and why the Big Ten for your institution? Well, thanks for having me on. And, uh, you know, college athletics has changed so much. It's, it's a very dynamic time right now in our business. And uh, with everything in the landscape changing, you're, you're constantly evaluating what are the opportunities, uh, what is the path forward to put your student athletes in the best position to be successful and resource and support them in the best ways. And when you look at the landscape, uh, the Big Ten Conference is very strong uh, from the standpoint of the tradition, the academic fit, and the institutions there, AAU institutions, uh, and then high-level athletics. Uh, with that, that combination, it just made a lot of sense for us to, uh, to look at the Big Ten and, and call the Big Ten our home for the future. Give us maybe a, a bird's eye view of what this timeline looked like and the perspective that you were mentioning as you were saying, you know, the, the dynamic and the landscape is dynamic and it is ever changing. So when did you notice that, all right, now's about time for UCLA and USC to look about expansion? Well, you take it back to a, a year ago. I mean, obviously, with, with Texas and Oklahoma going uh, to the SEC, I think that kind of sent some shockwaves throughout uh, college athletics. And then with name, image, and likeness and transfers and just so many things in the transformation committee, it's just a dynamic time. And so you have to really take stock of where you are, where you're going, where you want to be, and how best to position you for the future. And that's what this is about. Uh, we want to position our student athletes at UCLA uh, to, to be the best and to be in a position of strength moving forward. And as long as they wear those four letters and represent Bruin excellence, uh, that's what it's about. And so looking at the landscape, the Big Ten uh, has done a great job positioning themselves and will continue to do so. And, and we're excited about joining the Big Ten in 2024. What's been the biggest hurdle throughout this process leading up to Thursday night? Oh, it's just been, it's just, it's stressful. You know, uh, there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot to factor and, and decide and consider. And you have to take all of that into stock and it's not something that you can really talk about. So, so there was a lot of just um, consideration because this is a big move. This is a big change for everybody. And um, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's about our student athletes and we keep that at the core. What's going to put them in the best position? What's going to help make sure our programs are here for a long time, for generations to come, and, and the excellence that we're known. We're having 119 national championships, uh, and it's important to support all 25 of our programs and how best to do that. And so you, you're, you're taking a lot of things into consideration. Uh, but at the end of the day, with this seismic change in college athletics, we want to be in a position of strength at UCLA, and that's what that's what we intend to do. So what are some of those things, if you can pinpoint, that the Big Ten can offer that the Pac-12 couldn't for your institution uh, at this time? Well, one, national exposure. I mean, now you're going to be in three different time zones, multiple time zones. Uh, here on the West Coast, you know, when you think about uh, some of the game times and things, you're not always – in the national spotlight, now our student athletes will get to showcase their talent and skills um, as far from the Pacific to the Atlantic, all through the East Coast. So in a name, image, and likeness era, and a, a student athlete finding their voice and their brand and what's important to them, uh, this gives them a national platform uh, that they can be seen uh, in ways that we haven't been able to. Uh, the other thing it does, too, is it opens up possibilities for partnership uh, with other institutions, like-minded institutions academically. Uh, and when you talk about mental health, well-being, nutrition, health and wellness, some of the things that are very important uh, to our student athletes, uh, you want to be a part of like-minded institutions that look and view things the same way you do. And so, uh, uh, and then the resources, obviously, uh, to be able to support uh, 25 teams, 700 plus student athletes, uh, it's, it's, it's a big deal. And there's a lot more investments now in college athletics with our students. And we want to make sure we're at the forefront in leading that. Talk about that exposure. Pac-12 after dark sometimes also meant Pac-12 after a lot of people go to sleep. So the exposure part in more time zones obviously makes sense. But this change doesn't go into effect until the 2024 football seasons, which means you have two more seasons operating in the Pac-12. How do you navigate now these relationships over the course of the next two years? Well, we've been members in the Pac-12 for a long time. We have 
much respect for for the Pac-12 and the institutions doing it the right way. Uh, and so we're going to be uh, the best partner we can be. We're going to compete. And uh, we believe in sportsmanship and doing things the right way. And that's not going to change over these next two years. So uh, we will fully be invested in the Pac-12. We'll fully be uh, committed to, to doing everything we can to, to help our student athletes and compete against our, uh, our, our other institutions that are in the Pac-12. I know you're no stranger to the cold weather. You spent some time on the East Coast. But are you looking forward <laughs> to those December visits to Piscataway, New Jersey, to take on Rutgers come December 2024 and beyond? It's, it's, it's warm in L.A. all the time, so that's kind of nice. I don't know if I would say I'm looking forward to that, uh, but, but I am looking forward to seeing our student-athletes compete um, in a different way uh, against different institutions and having some different experiences. You know, this is all new for everyone, and uh, I'm excited about the, the opportunity to, to start new traditions, new rivalries. And, uh, no, the, the weather is great in L.A. Maybe they'll be more excited to come out to L.A. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.